Hello everyone, this is Fahim Jackson, and this is episode 92 of my podcast show, In The Know. This podcast is aimed at trying to guide people through the world with a variety of topics. I am also using this platform to ask questions and try my best to answer these questions with my viewpoints of the world around me. The following episode introduction speech is for the topic of today. The introduction speech is regarding the seven deadly sins. This time, what is pride? I go to the gym every day because I not only do it for my health, but I like the results as well. It's simply because I take pride in my appearance. Yet taking pride in your appearance is a sin? But is it a sin? Because why has taking care of yourself become a sin? Or is the sin stemming from a more obsessive standpoint? Especially since everything we do, as long as it is in moderation, is just fine. Yet pride is one of those weird things that people tend to judge depending on the person who is interpreting what pride is. My going to the gym might be seen as too prideful. Some people would say that I need to be happy in the body I was born with. Others don't like. Others don't look at me going into the gym as prideful. As a matter of fact, pride in oneself is good to an extent. See, here we go again with the to the extent statement. Now, the Bible does not speak to of extents. In the Bible, pride is looked at as something that corrupts the mind. God would say that someone needs to observe outside the body and put him first. Your pride will lead to your destruction. I have my own views on this belief. But let's break down the true meaning of pride. What is pride? See, pride is a deep, intimate connection to something with an attitude about oneself. And for this, it may come off as odd that the Bible would speak against the meaning of pride, because pride is a joyous person with high levels of integrity and a close sense of community. Having dignity for oneself that is cultivated and protected by yourself. Now, why would any of this be considered a sin? Having a high level of dignity and integrity in self is a sin? This seems to not make sense because are we supposed to have these views of self? Or maybe the Bible understands that this and pride has a different meaning within the meaning. Yes, pride is a good thing. You can have pride in your religious belief. So does that work as a sin? So here lies the problem. It is in the context of the pride one has. Pride is good so long as it does not corrupt the mind, body, and soul. And this is usually done through trying to alter the image of one's sense of self that goes up and beyond the norm. Meaning a woman who goes from A cup breast to C is totally different from taking pride in the letter H. Very few women are at an H naturally, and this can be seen as overboard. Maybe not by the woman's definition, but it is excessive by pride's definitions in the biblical sense. The Bible would say this person has gone too far. Then again, you can make that claim that the Bible would say any alterations to the body is out of step with regards to living a just life. But who really can say what is just? Well, let me try to convince you by telling you a story. You see, Angela is a 25-year-old young woman who has earned quite a reputation for being the it girl in her circle of friends. But even though she was born with the natural aesthetics most females dream of. Only problem is that Angela didn't see it that way. She not only exercised seven days a week in the gym, she would spend money she didn't have on hair stylists, nails, makeup, massages, tanning, facials, clothing, and any other enhancement that would make her stand out more. It went beyond the norm, normal pride one had into an area of excessively working to keep her appearance up. At times, her resources got a little low. She found herself going into debt in order to make 
to save face and cut back on her spending. Now she is in two predicaments that involve pride. The excessive pride she takes in her appearance and the pride she refuses to swallow in order to move forward. So here she is with a mountain of debt and a bad credit score. So where does she go for help? She picked up the telephone and called the very person who got her on track to bad financial decisions, her father. That's right. Her father used to dress her up like this little doll, always making sure she stood out in her clothing. He gave her anything she wanted and rarely said no. But this is a problematic considering eventually she would have to step out into the real world and budget her finances herself. Now daddy can't aid you, yet she still has that pride in herself that she was instilled since childhood. So what is someone like Angela to do with so much pride and not enough resources to keep up her appearances? Eventually, you financially flatline. This is what happened to Angela. She let herself into bankruptcy, and now she could not keep up her prideful life. Now, there was no saving face. She was exposed and there was no hiding. This is what happens to people with pride that tends to be excessive. They end up exposing themselves and all their flaws because they can't just give in and admit to themselves they are in over their heads. The effects that pride has on a person. Now, how does this fare in the person's life? Well, as we can see from the short story, Angela was quite prideful. So much so, she was willing to go into bankruptcy in order to keep up her appearance. But once it gets to this point, you can no longer run. This is the exposing moment when you have gone too deep. You're in over your head with nowhere to go but further down. You're like a mouse stuck in a maze. Well, how do you get out? Stop fighting. You're not going anywhere at this moment. See, pride truly destroys the person because emotionally they are too deep into the identity of one's sense of self. And don't get me wrong, pride is good in regards to cultural identity, but like in, case, in the case of Angela, Hers went beyond the norm. It went so far that it led to her demise. What are some effects on the society? Prideful people not only impact themselves, but also on others. This can happen when you're dealing with leaders in positions of power, like politicians. They will go as far as before they they will go far as to lie before they admit fault. A prideful person in this position can put the lives of a city, state, or even nation in jeopardy. Save face and admit wrongdoing, yet they can't do it. You also see this in parents when raising children. Do you know how hard it is for a parent to admit they were wrong to their child? Pride could ruin a relationship because the parent can't say sorry to their offspring. To them, it makes them look less than in the eyes of their child or children. Silly, yes, but a lot of people think and feel this way. Pride hurts society because since the person has so much pride, they tend to hide the things they are important that could keep people from being negatively affected. Can you imagine multiple people being hurt since you are caught up in your own feelings? Let's take a look at the involuntary sin. This is one of those feelings inside that we cannot fully control. You can't help yourself at times when there is something that forces you to see yourself for who you are. Only problem is your inability to see yourself hurting those close to you. And this is why pride is such a sin. When you can't see the people around you being hurt because you're stuck with your own justifiable feelings. Now, for a second, let's go back and observe what it truly means to be an involuntary sin. Let me add to that. I don't want it to be this thing that we are allowed to do what we want as a result. I'm just saying that humans have these feelings that put us in these compromising positions. Humans always have the ability to control our vibes from turning into action because then again, we have free will. But no matter, no amount of free will can fully deliver you from the pride one has in their inner selves. So with this end statement, while we have to understand pride as a sin, you see, pride is one of those things that can be great strength and reverence or someone's greatest downfall. I myself have my pride, but always manage to keep it in check when it's time to do so. 
because pride out of check will result in the person bringing down people around them depending upon the impact coming from the prideful person. Being honest means being introspective. How do you do this when you're a person who can't admit when you're wrong? It usually means something bad is taking place to force a reset. Hopefully things don't get to that point. But whatever decision you make, always remember that at times you must swallow your pride and push forward. Thanks for listening to In the Know. And I'll be bringing you another episode regarding religion. The topic will be covering the seven deadly sins. This time, sloth.